Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Poem Massive video. So a few days ago, we got the 17th dev letter, right? And, and there was a lot of really interesting stuff, uh, but today in this video, we're going to focus on the Valentine's Sync pair, which is, in this case, uh, Serena Whimsicott. So, which, oh, by the way, uh, people have been reminding me, like, you know, it's not all over they, for Valentine's Sabrina, they could still, you know, announce like a second female sync pair, although... Even if it is female, the chances of it being Sabrina, I don't have that much hope for. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's still possible. <laughs> but if it's not, we could we could start the uh, or at least I at least I don't know if there's any Sabrina fans out there outside of me. Um, I'm sure there are, but I I could start campaigning for like the next seasonal Sabrina, which is probably like the next closest holiday. What even is that? Is that um. St. Patrick's Day? I don't even... St. Patrick's Day, Sabrina 2021. Let's go, folks. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all right. Uh, back to the, the topic at hand, uh, which is Serena and Whimsicott. So Serena and Whimsicott, a uh, really, really interesting sync pair um, because it can be a lot of different things, right? And it could put... Like, uh, Whimsicott's moveset is actually quite diverse, Right, in terms of things it could do. So let's talk about it, right? Talk about it uh, and, and see what, what it could potentially do. So the first thing that we do have to sort of note is if you see um, the background over there, uh, in, in that photo they provided, there's that the, there's that like wave, wavy thing, I don't know, that whatever that thing is in the back. Uh, it's pink, which means it's not gonna be grass type, it's gonna be fairy type. It's confirmed, fairy type, whims caught, not gonna be grass type. Could it have grass type moves? It could have grass type moves, right? Um, but the chances of it having having more fairy type moves is just higher than having you know, more grass type moves. Obviously, you could split both, right? Or it could have you know two fairy, one grass, and just one trainer move. Although I, there really isn't that many sync pairs in the game, uh, or some bull sync pairs that actually do that. Those are like mo mostly just like legendary uh, event Pokemon, right? Have like three three moves and like a trainer move. Um, so I, I, I would expect it to be a bit more traditional, right? Um, just two moves, one like item sort of thing, and then like one, one, uh, you know, trainer move, right? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's possible. I mean, you got like Wallace, right? That's, you know, there are singers that, that have, you know, three moves. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, let's go ahead and check out what moves it has and what moves it could potentially have, right? So Whimsicott, um, we have to first talk about its role, right? What role could it be? Could it be attack, support, or striker? And as usual, all these are possible because, like, I was first thing, ah, that's not gonna be a striker, right? But then it reminded me of the other fairy type seasonal that we had, which, by the way, damn, a lot of these <laughs> seasonals, we got like three, like, um, fairy seasonals already. Like, we don't have that many fairy, like, well, actually, we have a decent amount of fairy types. I mean, if we compare to like fairy types to like some of like, the other types. Um, like people like to meme about fairy types, but we have like so many more fairy types than we have like ground types or like dark types, right? Um, but well, not that much more, but <laughs> more or, or well, I, I don't even know. Well, with this new one, we might have more anyways. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are seasonals. So it would be nice if we get a few more like non-seasonals. I mean, like our non-seasonal fairies like Cl Clefairy and like obviously, you know, Mino Gramble and, and, and Sylveon. Um... But yeah, it'd be nice if we get some like non-seasonal fairies. <laughs> um, but but I guess it makes sense that there's like a lot of seasonal fairies because there aren't really that many like fairy type trainers in the um you know that they're like just specifically fairy type focused. Obviously, once Gen A comes in, we could have some more. And whenever Diantha drops, which I I really see her dropping like anytime soon, honestly. But you know, whenever which by the way, Diantha jokes are not funny anymore. All right, it like it's uh, people are making the same exact jokes to hurt Diantha fans. Stop making those jokes. They're not funny anymore. Anyways. Um, uh, yeah. It's off, off the channel. Let's get back to Whimsicott. Anyway. Um, if you look at Whimsicott's move pool, got a lot of really, really interesting stuff. Um, and you can see, like, a lot of grass-type moves in here. So it could potentially have, like, one grass-type move because there's just so many grass-type moves with this thing, right? Um, so, yeah. In terms of... Again, it could be striker, it could be support, it could be tech, right? Like I mentioned before, we do have Jigglypuff, which is a fairy type striker, which I never would have, like, if someone told me, hey, if Jigglypuff's going to be in the game one day, you know, what role do you think I'd be? I think, well, I think either support or tech, probably more so tech, because you know, the big thing is to, 
it sings people to sleep, right? Um, I wouldn't have guessed Striker, but here we are. We have Striker Jigu, though. So is it possible Whimsicott could be another fairy type Striker? It could be, right? Um, but I don't see, like, the chance being, like, that high. Like, it could be, like, a fairy type Striker with, like, Moonblast or whatever, right? Um, but I just see it more, like, as a tech unit because there's a lot of tech moves with this thing, right? Um, and, and let's talk about them. Like, first of all, we got, like, f um, although this is not, like, <laughs> this is not, like, um uh like fairy type at all right uh but fake tears it, it could be something that it has right um it is dark type so the chances of it having fake tears i'd say is relatively low but then again milo uh, does have like mirror code so it's not impossible that it, you know um yes but fake tears would be really really nice you know it's special defense drop by two stages we still haven't had like a sync pair that really does that um right uh koga has like guaranteed on on you know minus one but there really isn't any like minus two special de uh, defenses we do have that for physical defense with like nanu right and we also have you know um leer which is aoe with um with with kukui uh so fake tears would be something nice to have right um but again it is dark type so the chance of that I, I wouldn't bank on it right but in terms of like some fair type moves that it could potentially have like charm charm is a charm is a it's an option right charm is definitely an option um this one's fairy and and it lowers uh you know the attack by it too the only thing is what do you i mean <laughs> not that anyone like uses her that much right but we are have like a charm user <laughs> um but i would probably expect women's god to be better than gramble i mean gramble's not the best unfortunately all right uh, so we could get like another charm user, uh, lower the opponent's attack. Although, is there, um, I don't know. It's uh, it's low, lowering attack just isn't like as needed, right? In comparison, like lowering special defense or lowering special attack. Um, but maybe we get you know more units in the future that could uh, that could uh, take advantage of that, right? Um, uh, another another option um, could be cotton spore. Again, it is grass type, so you know, take with a grain of salt. Um, but a uh, conspore could be something as well. Uh, however, the thing is, uh, cotton spore isn't that good, <laughs> right? In masters, because we have like heliolisk that like has like an AOE like uh you know speed debuff or like seismitoad. This is like a single target. And, and, yeah, it's it's like two stages, but I don't know. It's, it's it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, unless unless they like in like the synchro and this would probably be locked like behind three out of five because it's so powerful. Unless they like make it so it's like an AOE like minus two speed, that would be very very powerful. <laughs> that would be very very powerful. Um, but Consport could could potentially be an option, I guess. Um, but going over like some other stuff because again, it doesn't have that many fairy type moves, right? Um, I mean, like, Fairy Wind could be, like, a, like, sp like one-gauge spammable, maybe, because, like, it really doesn't do anything. It could be, like, a one-gauge one spammable, but they could also, like, add, like, some other stuff to Fairy Wind in the grid. Like, they could give, um, I don't know, Fairy Wind with, um, like, Fortuitous or whatever. I, I, like, they, they could potentially make it out of something, right? Uh, or, 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 you know, uh, out of nothing, right? Um, but as for, like, some other stuff, right, if we look at you know, some TMs that it learns... Uh, some really, really interesting stuff, if you look over here, uh, Grassy Terrain and Misty Terrain. Hmm, <laughs> could it be the Grassy Terrain user or the Misty Terrain user, right? Um, because we just got Mallow. Oh, by the way, also, the other argument against, uh, Charm is we're getting Mallow, which has, like, Trop Kick, which lowers attack as well. So, it would be kind of weird if we get, like, two units that, like, drop your attack in a row. Um, but, you know, uh, speaking of Mallow, right, uh, it could be, again, a Grassy Terrain user, which would be really, really good because like, we wouldn't have a Grassy Terrain users. Um, although I would prefer if they, if, if they don't make the Grassy Terrain user like a limited sync pair. <laughs> I would prefer if, you know, if they are going to give us Grassy Terrain user, it's going to be, um, a, a, a sync pair in, like the regular pool, right? Um... But yeah, they could give us Grassy Terrain, which again, really, really great. Or Misty Terrain, maybe. Although I do think Xerneas would be better <laughs> if they, uh, you know, give us a Misty Terrain Sync Pair, right? But again, uh, Grassy Terrain, it's Grass type. And and, and I, I, don't, I don't think Grassy Terrain really fits Whimsicott that well. Because Whimsicott is not a Grass type. 
right? It's a, I mean, well, it's a grass type of main series. It's not, it's not a grass type of masters, right? So we wouldn't like get like the full benefits of it itself. So I would, although it probably like if it does get it, it's probably gonna have like stuff in the grid that makes it like take advantage of that. But it's not not as natural as, um, like say like a grass unit that gives us grassy terrain, right? That would have been much better in my opinion, or something like green thumb, right? Uh, as for some other stuff, it could have like screens, I guess, right? Light screen reflect. Uh, cause you know, Eggmon's aside, we want to have like one light screen user and one reflect user, which both of them are fantastic, right? By the way, um, that could be an option, I guess. There's just again, there just really aren't that many like interesting fair type moves that it has. It could have like play rough, I guess, or it could have like dazzling gleam and then like add on to like the dazzling gleam, like kind of like um how uh Clefairy has it, right? Uh, to like lower the opponent's stats or and, and stuff. Um, but overall. I don't know. The more that I look at it, there really aren't like that many moves that really fit it if it were attack. So the chance of it being a support uh, could also be an option, right? It could be a support that um that gives us, you know, special defense. That would be nice. Or or a support that gives us speed, like sort of, you know, tapping into like the tailwind aspect of it. It could be like a speed plus I don't know, speed plus like defense or special defense uh kind of support. Um, also, you know, tapping into, like, uh, con guard, although, again, that does also overlap with, like, Skyla, <laughs> right, and, uh, you know, why, why would, why would they do that, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, there, there, there's, there's, there's a lot of options, but it just seems like most of the stuff that Whimsicott has, someone else already, like, does that in the game, um, I guess Sunny Day is another option, but again, I don't really see it <laughs> having Sunny Day. Um, or it could be like a helping hand unit, maybe. Cool. That, that that would actually be really really interesting. Um, you know, just like make helping hand like a um, move that uses like move gauge and then it uses MP, uh, a certain amount of uses. But when you use it, that's just an like unconditional like fifty percent buff for like your striker for like one move. That would be actually really really powerful, right? Because you could stack that up uh, on top of, like, your stat multipliers. You could stack that on top of the weather multipliers, whatever other passive multipliers that you have. That could actually be really, really nice. Ooh, now that I think about it, I, I'm talking myself into into um, into a, uh, you know, helping hand whimsicott. So I hope that happens. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, maybe, like, safeguard, protect your team from status. That could be something, because, like, Mar uh, uh Marley does that, but I mean Marley's not the best. Um, Ryan right? Wallace Wallace isn't that good, honestly, uh, because it doesn't protect from like secondary effects, which really sucks, by the way. <laughs> why does it? Why? 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 Why not? Uh, but anyways, um, those are some options. I guess substitute could also be something. Um, takes you know a certain amount of your HP, and then you know, the, yeah, it throws out substitute or whatever. Uh, but yeah, those are some options um, that that Whimsicott could come with, right? Uh, it, it really does seem like a tech, a tech unit, but again, uh, it could also be a support because like a lot of the tech stuff that it does, something else in the game already does already, right? So, uh, anyways, that's me for this one. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below what you guys think uh, Whimsicott could potentially have, right? Uh, like and enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.